Thank you for hosting the JA Ethics event. This training is to show you what is all in the box of love you will receive for the event and what your role as the host is for the event. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you have questions or need anything for this event. If you need to get a hold of JA staff outside of normal business hours, for statewide communities, you can reach out to Tessa, and for Sioux Empire communities, you can reach out to Kelsey. Each school has its own box of ethics materials. Please open the box right when you receive it to ensure everything is there. All materials are in folders, which I'm going to go through later in this presentation. When you first open the ethics box, you will see the thank you gift from JA. I did not show a picture because that would ruin the surprise, but we know this event would not be possible without you. We are so appreciative and we hope you enjoy this little gift from JA. Next, you will see the supply bag. There are multiple things in there, but for sure the black Sharpies can be used for volunteers to write their name on their name tag. It also includes pens, rubber bands, binder clips, sticky notes, etc. The most important document for you is the JA Ethics Event Outline. This is everything you will need to know for the event and it has the briefing and debriefing notes. If the event is over, please email jasd at ja.org and let us know how it went. The first folder in the box is the pre-event information. In this folder, there will be thank you cards and escort sheets. You will need to put these in the teacher's mailbox the day before or the morning of the event. If the event is later in the day, please drop off each card in the teacher's classroom so they have them before the event. The room number and teacher name can be found at the top of the escort sheet. Students will use the escort sheets to find their volunteer for the event. If your event happens throughout the day, you won't need these, but the teachers will still need their thank you cards, so make sure they are still placed in their mailbox. Thank you cards will be signed by students and mailed to volunteers. The envelopes are already pre-addressed to the volunteer. The next folder will be volunteer lists and contact information. The volunteer lists have all the same information on them, but they are sorted in different ways. This is to help you make sure all volunteers show up the day of the event. The contact information document has all the volunteers' cell phone numbers. This is very important because if the event were to be canceled due to weather, you would be responsible for calling all volunteers to let them know that the event is canceled and they should plan to teach on the makeup date instead. Please make sure you hear from all volunteers. The verification form will need to be signed at the end of the event by someone at the school to confirm that JA was taught. If volunteer changes are made, please write them on this form. After the form is signed, it can be returned to the JA office by mail in the pre-addressed envelope. The next folder is event prep and setup. In here, you will find JA arrows which you can hang up from the front office to your host room so volunteers can easily find their way. You can use the tape in your supply bag. Next, you will find blank name tags and blank volunteer conduct standards. For the blank name tags, you will have volunteers use the Sharpie from the supply bag to write their name on the name tag. For the blank volunteer conduct standards, a list will be sent to you the day before the event and anyone still needing their volunteer conduct standards signed, please make sure to have them sign it when they arrive at the event. Next folder is materials to set out. For some schools, this may be found at the bottom of the box because of the amount of materials needed for your event. You should set out the following materials, including the schedule of the day, the volunteer guidebooks. Please note that volunteers may have already printed their own copies, but please still set this out. The student worksheets, table tents for students to write their names on, blank name tags for volunteers to write their names, 
the erasers, and then remind each volunteer to each only take one eraser per classroom to be used during their closing activity. Remember that except for the name tags, JA sent materials to cover the total number of class sections, not the total number of volunteers. We also included blank volunteer conduct standards as well for the volunteers who have not signed them already. JA staff will send you a list of event volunteers who still need to sign this document a day prior to your event. Please make sure they sign the forms when they arrive at the event prior to teaching. The next folder is action items during the event. In here, you will have a pre-addressed return envelope. Please mail all signed volunteer conduct standards, the verification form, and any notes from the debrief back to the JA office. There is also a note in there to remind you of what is all needing to be mailed back to the office in case you forget. The last folder is resources if needed. In here, there's a copy of the teacher material guide. If any teachers request to have this information, you can give it to them. If multiple teachers request to have the guide, you can make copies and give it to them. Lastly, you have the press packet and media release form. JA has sent these to media about the event, and if media should show up, please remember that they are not allowed to show student faces. Now that we've covered what's inside the box, we're going to spend the last few minutes just talking about tips and tricks for running a successful event. You will want to arrive at the school 30 minutes before the volunteers do. This will give you time to set up the host room, hang up arrow signs, and set out all the necessary materials. Make sure you check in at the school office and remind them that there is a JA event and volunteers will be checking in with them. Feel free to give them a list of all the volunteers if they want it. You will need to set up your host room. You will do this by laying out all the materials needed and making sure there is space for all the volunteers. Every host room will look a little different. If you need help hosting this event, please reach out to other champions or someone at the school. It is recommended that two people host the event, but it is not necessary. A lot of materials to set out, so please make sure you give yourself enough time to set out everything before the volunteers arrive. Again, you will need to set out the schedule of the day, the volunteer guides, the student worksheets, the table tents, the blank name tags, and the blank volunteer conduct standards. During the event, you are going to be the one greeting volunteers, answering any questions they have, facilitating the briefing, and making sure all volunteers get to their room. While the volunteers are teaching, please walk around and make sure that you are taking pictures of the volunteers teaching. Remember that you are not allowed to take pictures of students' faces. Any pictures you get, please send them to Tessa or Kelsey at the JA office. Once all the volunteers are done teaching, you can facilitate the debriefing and take down any notes and send them to JA. We're always looking to improve our event and our communication. Remember, the debriefing and briefing notes are found in the event outline document. After the event, have the principal or school representative sign the verification form, put the host room back the way you found it, mail in the verification form, volunteer conduct standards, and any notes from the debriefing. Then please call or email us to let us know the event is complete. Thank you so much again for hosting the JA Ethics event. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out.